Hi everyone. So today I have one of the best videos. As you all know that Google's VO2 is currently free and you can use it on AI Studio. So I'll compare it with Sora and that is not the main part. The main part is I'll show you how you can use an image to create a very descriptive prompt. I have a system prompt here and firstly I'll show one example then I'll show the system prompt and then uh, we'll move forward uh, for the next examples. So do not worry. Let me demonstrate it once what is happening in this video. I'll copy any image and I'll paste it. So I have already pasted this. And remember there is this system prompt and I'll reveal it right now just after the generation. You can see what is happening is that according to the system prompt it will take the image and it will describe everything. As you can see that we have a complete description right and now we do not need to do anything we'll just paste it and this is a very intelligent system prompt because not only it is describing this image completely it is actually analyzing the scene and by itself creating a complete movement and animation or what should be happening in the motion and i'll show the system prompt let's try out the generation with sora and vio both of them and let's just see so both of the videos have ge been generated and let's watch it so the whiskers and everything look very amazing and now let's look at sora so i actually love this one generally i do like uh, google's videos but this one actually looks very realistic and very good But one thing that you need to remember is that we can access uh, VO2 for completely free. And for that purpose it is pretty good. Now let's talk about the system prompt and then we'll generate more and more examples so don't worry. The instruction that we have here and do not worry I'll provide the whole system prompt in the description below you can download it and you can use it. So I am using spaces in Google so in perplexity sorry and the reason is that uh, you can create a space which will always use this particular instruction but what you can do is that you can just copy it and you can paste it anywhere let's say you want it to paste here in the normal chat gpt and then provide any image it will work the same so you do not need to use perplexity i am just using it because i have the subscription and i like it and also the model that i am using is basically gemini 2.5 pro so you can use it directly in ai studio as well so everything that i am showing you can be done completely free you do not need any kind of subscription for that so here let's come to the prompt this is an expert ai uh, this is an expert image analyst and cinematic motion prompt engineer this is the role the objective is basically you can see recreate the visual scene of the image then we are introducing realistic context specific and creative motion the final generated prompt must encapsulate both the static scene and the description uh, description and the dynamic motion sequence concisely here i have provided 500 uh, between 500 to 650 words then there is a very detailed instruction receiving the input deep static analysis the subject the setting background composition lighting color palette style and medium texture details atmosphere dynamic motion here it starts the conceptualization and description so you have to analyze for motion potential this is very important because a jellyfish will have different motion a woman sitting in a car will have different motion so it must think then describe the 8 second sequence the reason i have put 8 seconds is because uh, this is for uh, vo2 the max it can go is 8 seconds for sora it kind of changes you can uh, like uh, depending on the resolution so i am using 720p everything else is same the ratio and the resolution so it is just 5 seconds but it still works very well creativity within realism so always a, a dog will not fly and it will not uh, like suggest that kind of motion so this is also very important this is just a one click prompt so it has to do everything like it has to think before doing anything then it is uh, synthesizing the prompt ensure fidelity and plausibility 
Prioritize creating the static look accurately while ensuring the described motion is believable and relevant. So all of these things are pretty amazing. Now in the later part, I have provided the final output prompt must be less than 350 words. And this is one of the reasons what I have seen is that if I put 350 above and below, it generally ends before 350. So basically in the starting of the prompt, I am uh, trying to give it a very like descriptive word structure. But later on, I just want the output to be a little bit less. And then there is the tone, analytical, precise, descriptive, cinematic, objective, yet imaginative for motion, right? And I have, this is important, I have turned off the web by default. So basically in your platform, whether you use Grok, ChatGPT, uh, anything, do not use the internet one because what it does is that it starts searching so for the sources on internet and then the relevancy is completely off. We do not want anything. We just want to uh, it to take the image. We do not want any latest, uh, you know, research paper or anything searches for this. So now, as we did with Snow Leopard, I do have many other examples and I'll show you all this one by one. So let's start with a human. One problem that I have noticed with uh, VO, this uh, you should remember is that if you want to use image, you can actually add image directly from here and then also use. You cannot add images which have human faces. This is a very like uh, problematic thing. But you can create uh, humans if you are directly using a prompt. So now what I'm going to do, we don't need this. Basically, I have the prompts generated. So what I'll do is that I'll just copy and paste it in. So here you can see, let's paste it here as well. So generate a photorealistic video capturing a close up selfie of a cheerful young woman inside a car maintaining extreme fidelity to the original image. Then there is the description brown hair tied back in high ponytail, warm brown eyes, eyebrows, wide smile, wears a white ribbed v-neck tank top with thin straps, her right hand is raised, fingers slightly touching her ponytail near the side of her head. The setting and you can understand like bright natural daylight illuminates her face from the front left. So it is going to basically be like uh, a selfie or uh, a portrait uh, photo that would be inside of a car. And then I asked, I used the same uh, space for it to create motion. So you can see her fingers gently adjust her ponytail slightly before her hand relaxes marginally but remains near the head. Her broad smile softens almost. And uh, this is something which uh, you would understand. The reason I gave a very realistic uh, movement according to 8 seconds is because you can see there are not many abrupt uh, movements, right? So it is always going to judge the context of the image that I provided and then it would always create the motion according to that and which can be done in 8 seconds. All of these steps are very important. I highly suggest you download the system prompt and then like analyze it. You can tweak it. I'll generate this as well and let's see. So both the generations are done and let's look at the first one that is the VO. As you can see, very realistic. There is not a single point where you can actually guess that this is not AI generated. Amazing results, amazing results. I love it. Now let's look at Sora. So the Sora is also very good, but the only problem that I have is it's kind of, uh, the videos are always in slow motion. And also if you look very closely, the background does not make sense. You can see that the background, uh, this part is going to be the front of the car because of, you can see this, right? But then what is this? So uh, like the background does not make sense. But here, if you watch the Google VO 2, everything is pretty amazing. And it is kind of realistic because even the movements of the mouth and everything is not slightly slow motion, but not as much as Sora. So this is where VO actually excels. Now for the next examples, I'm going to generate faster. You can pause the video and if you want, you can read out the whole prompts. 
all of them were generated with this a single image that i found online and with this particular system prompt so for the next prompt this is of a jellyfish and obviously it uh, generated the movement and everything so let's see so both of the videos are ready and let's look at this so this is by vo2 and absolutely stunning amazing there is no doubt about it this is one of the best videos and now let's look at sora so the sora also looks good but then again when it comes to coherency you'll see that vo is actually way ahead it looks very very amazing so you can see it is very real very natural you wouldn't have guessed that this is uh, you know ai generated so no issues let's start with the next prompt and this is of basically a megalodon shark and let's see what it can generate so the videos are ready and as you can see first let's watch sora and you can see it did not generate it very well you know but when we look at vo2 this actually looks pretty pretty good this is not exactly i don't think this is megalodon but still pretty amazing right so this was it for this video and if you have any kind of doubts or comment put it in the comment section below and try, i'll try to reply as soon as possible you'll get the system prompt in the description you'll get a link to it so use it if you have any other like enhancements or you want to tweak the system prompt i would love if you can share that in the comment section as well thank you